Hey Battle Bay World, RLX here. I'm going to start my video off a little bit differently than normal. To my two kids, I just want to say Daddy loves you. And this is actually going to be a rebuttal to a previous video that I did about um, a fixer's frustration. Alright, so I just want to apologize first off um, to the previous video. Um, ranting about basically trying to keep the team together so that the fixer can do its job. But then I came to be realizing a little bit that a fixer's job is not to make sure everybody stays around them so they can heal everybody. Their job is pretty much to be an ambulance. You're not driving in a car and sitting around saying, oh, let me hang out by the ambulance or the hospital because I think I might get to an accident. No, they come to you. You know, a soldier's not going to hang out by the combat medic and, uh, you know, wait to get shot and then say, hey, I need help. No, he's going to go into battle. He's going to do what he's got to do. And then the medic's going to come to him. So just like with this guy over here, he's off by himself. I, I know that we have two fixers on our team. So I said, you know, let the other guys stay by the other guys. Um, and then I'm going to stick by this one right here and, you know, let him basically let him do his job. And that's being a shooter and dealing damage with myself. Again, my job is to basically stay alive and then keep everybody else alive i have the health i've got the box i've got the pulse i've got to do what i gotta do then i start taking a little bit of damage and what i didn't have in my prior video that i had in this video is that i've equipped my fixer with a turbo and i've got a um tier 2 rare turbo um, with some really decent perks on it and so it's it's lifting me up um, where my speed is over one i think it's about 1.1 1.2 somewhere in that range but along with the overboost, um it really gives me the speed that i need to get around to be that speedy ambulance that i need to be so you start to notice that i almost die a couple times um uh, down to the 100 range of health but then i realized hey we dropped some boxes back here let me go grab them so i grab the boxes and say okay let me go ahead and get back in the fight it's a five on three right now. Um, so then at this point, now that I'm done actually doing the healing, um, I can start actually throwing some damage back out to the enemy um, to help, you know, my team. Because, you know, even though I'm healing everybody up, any any little point of damage is going to help. All right. So I, the guy that I've been hanging around, he's back to full health. Um, and then that's when we start going after everybody else. So the other fixer has done his job to keep our other two teammates alive while I'm keeping my teammate alive. And we just keep going, keep going, keep going at it until eventually in the end we win. Um, but again, like I was mentioning, the point of the healer for everybody that plays a fixer is your job is to keep everybody alive. But the, fit, the, the shooters and the defenders they are going to go off all on their own. They're going to do what they have to do um, to, to make sure that, that the whole team wins. Because again, I, I, I cannot reiterate this enough that this is a team game this is a everybody um, has to work together for the success of your team to win all right someone's gonna win someone's gonna lose um, and sometimes you're gonna draw and with the new rules on drawing um, if you have more people alive then you'll actually win the game so again to um, complement the prior video that I had and to reiterate myself, after playing several hundred more matches as a fixer, I realized my job is to go after everybody else and let them do their job. My job is to keep you alive. Don't You don't have to worry about hanging around me. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been a pleasure. To my two children, daddy loves you. Guys, I'll see you on the bay. This is RLX out. Keep calm and battle on. Hope you all enjoyed.